Bible Verses for Victorious Daily Living As believers, our victories are greatly influenced by the depth of understanding and application of the Word of God in our lives. This is what the Apostle Paul emphasizes in Colossians chapter 3, verse 16, encouraging us to let the Word of Christ dwell richly within us, through teaching, singing, and admonishing one another. He says that in all we do, in word or deed, we should do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God through Him. The power of our victories as believers lies in the Word of God and the blood of Jesus, which He shed as a ransom for us. This is why the Word of God states in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, And they overcame Him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Jesus himself exemplified the importance of knowing the truth of God's word when he was tempted by the devil in the wilderness after his 40 days of fasting and prayer. In Matthew chapter 4, we see how the devil came to tempt Jesus, but each time Jesus replied with the power of the word of God, saying it is written. He stood firm in his faith and won the victory through his knowledge of God's truth. Similarly, in John chapter 8, verse 32, Jesus makes it clear that the truth of God's word is what sets us free. It is through our understanding and application of the truth that we can live a victorious life as believers. Are you facing challenges from the devil and his minions? Fear not. The Bible holds the key to your victory. Our triumph over the evil forces can be achieved through the power of God's word. The Lord isn't interested in our desires, instead, He watches over His word to fulfill it when it is rightfully invoked. As Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12 says, Then said the Lord to me, You have seen well, for I am alert and active, watching over my word to perform it. So, arm yourself with these powerful Bible verses, and be ready to defeat Satan and his works of sickness, afflictions, and diseases. Number 1. Isaiah chapter 54, from verses 15 to 17. Indeed they shall surely assemble, but not because of me whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. Behold, I have created the blacksmith who blows the coals in the fire, who brings forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the spoiler to destroy. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Number 2. Isaiah chapter 49, verses 25 to 26. But thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible be delivered, for I will contend with him who contends with you, and I will save your children. I will feed those who oppress you with their own flesh, and they shall be drunk with their own blood as with sweet wine. All flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am your Savior, and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Number 3. Psalms 105, verse 14 and 15. He permitted no one to do them wrong, yes, he rebuked kings for their sakes, saying, Do not touch my anointed ones, and do my prophets no harm. Number 4, 1 John, chapter 3, verse 8 says. The devil is all about sin, and that's what he's been doing since the beginning. But the good news is, the Son of God was sent to earth to defeat the devil and destroy all his evil works. Number 5. Job chapter 22, verse 28. Speak it into existence, and it will become a reality. Your path will be illuminated, and light will shine on your ways. Number 6. Numbers chapter 23, verse 23, the Bible says. There's no magic spell or curse that can work against Jacob and Israel. Instead, all the world can see what God has done for them. Number 7. Isaiah chapter 45, from verses 2 to 3. I'll clear the way for you and make it straight. I'll break down gates of bronze and bars of iron and give you treasures from the darkness. You'll know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who calls you by name. Number 8. 
Exodus chapter 14, verses 13 to 14. Don't be afraid, just stand still and watch as the Lord saves you. The Egyptians you see today, you'll never see again. The Lord will fight for you, so just be at peace. Number 9. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. I'm giving you the authority to defeat serpents and scorpions and all the enemy's power. Nothing will be able to hurt you. Number 10. Matthew chapter 16, verse 19. The keys to the kingdom of heaven are in your hands. What you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and what you set free on earth will be set free in heaven. Number 11. Joel chapter 2, verses 25 to 27. I will make up for the years that the locusts have taken from you, the swarming locust, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust, the great army I sent against you. You will eat until you are full, and you will praise the name of the Lord your God, who has worked wonders for you. My people will never be ashamed. Then you will know that I am among the people of Israel, that I am the Lord your God, and that there is no other. My people will never be ashamed. Number 12. Psalms 125, verse 1 to 3. The Lord is a strong foundation for those who trust in Him, unmovable like Mount Zion. Just as the mountains surround Jerusalem, the Lord surrounds His people, from this moment on and forevermore. The wicked will not rule over the land given to the righteous, for if they did, the righteous would be tempted to do wrong. Number 13. Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17. But deliverance will come to Mount Zion, and there will be holiness. The descendants of Jacob will reclaim their possessions. Let's pray with open hearts and a steadfast faith. Dear Heavenly Father, as we come before you today in prayer, we ask that you empower us to declare and use these sacred verses from your holy word in the areas of our lives that require your loving mercy, grace, and intervention. Dear Lord, we ask that you move swiftly to answer our prayers and bring us victory over Satan and all his cohorts. Let our triumph be made evident to all, a shining testament to your love and power. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.